Hello and welcome to uh, this cooking video. This is Bricky Cement. This is a little pressure cooker recipe I found in this book here that I'm showing you now. Amy recently got me a, um, an Instapot. It's a <clears throat> Darth Vader one. So this is our first time having one. I know we're a little late in the game. And here we are. We're uh, just scrolling through some of the um, ingredients here. And I pan down, tilt down on the um, recipe. I like three ring binder recipe books for this. They're, they're easy to take out. Here's the um, soaking the beans. You want about two inches of water above the beans when you soak them because they do expand. And, uh, this is my latest technique of peeling garlic. Crush it really good. Usually they do come out pretty easily like that. Then I kind of ch chop off the ends. Next few clips will have some headbanging music in the background. I do like loud music when I chop. Garlic's our favorite ingredient. I always use more than what the recipe calls for. Now just um, using the garlic press. And the appropriate music for crushing garlic is in the background. Now the favorite ingredient is the uh, red onion. Adding up, uh, the recipe called for olive oil, but we're using garlic oil here. And I think I'm so funny, I have to show you my chef hat. like watching a lava lamp. Here we go with the chef hat. Seriously though, I love McDonald's fast food. There we go, I'm consulting the recipe again. Trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> love the Instapot, we've been using it a lot though. Boom, they connect. There we go, so trippy. And then we take a break from the headbanging music so you can hear the sizzle. I love this pot. It has a um, saute mode, which is really nice. So it really saves on doing dishes, and it's really convenient to be able to brown things up here, right in the pot. This is always my favorite part of cooking. Sizzling stuff. It smells like the fairgrounds, you know? Now we're going to add in the garlic. A little, a little slow in the kitchen. Um, here we go. It's, it's smelling so good. Tomato paste. salt oregano leaves dried uh, just winging it there don't use the exact amount 
Start it up. Sign the stick there a little bit. Better hurry up. Now we're gonna there the beans and here I made a kind of a mistake. You can't see it on the camera, but I got some of the beans stuck between the uh, pot and the insta pot, and it caused problems later on. But basically, I didn't get a good seal for the pressure because there was a bean stuck between the um, lid and the um, pot. Add two cups of water. The crushed tomatoes. Stir it really good. One last stir before setting the cooker. I love the way this lid comes on, it just Twist it on, you feel a good lock, you hear the beeps, click, wow. Now you get to see me struggle trying with the controls here, I'm not good under pressure, even though it's a pressure cooker, so I'm like, yeah, pressure cook, <clears throat> make sure it's on high pressure, that's what I'm trying to do, there we go. And we're going to set it to 16 minutes. And um, for this, we're going to shut off to keep warm. And just double checking everything. And we're going to use the natural pressure release, which means after it's done cooking, wait 10 minutes, and then any pressure, release the valve. That's like after 10 minutes after the uh, 16 minutes, so about 26 minutes time total. And the, uh, it smells so good with that steam coming out, all that flavor. And there we go. So even though it kind of looks good, those beans were not ready as I thought they were because of the um, bad seal I had. And I, th I thought something was wrong because it did take a long time for the pressure to build up. So I ended up um, putting um, putting in for another 16 minutes um, after this video. And they were fine after the second cycle of pressure cooking once I removed that bean from the lid. Some roll. Overall, after the second c cooking and fixing my mistake, it came out pretty good. But I, I th it was a little bland. It smelled good. It smelled like an Italian kitchen, but I, I had to add soy sauce to it in the end. As always, follow the safety instructions on these pressure cookers. Um, they're not—they're not a toy. So I hope you enjoyed watching. And have a great day.